Oh, hi, everybody. My name's Tom. For those of you who are new and see me doing some weird movements, it's because I have red syndrome. And um, I have also high blood pressure and maybe a few other things that are always coming to mind. I have floaters, too. But anyway, let's get to uh, what we're doing this week. So, in um, not in this video, but in another video, we talked about Genesis 3.19. In this video, we're going to be talking about Touch by Angel Season 1, Episode 12, The Hero. And tomorrow, we're going to be doing Star Trek Fleet Command Part 4 to 1. Now, that last one... Yeah, that's a big maybe because my internet has been uh, acting weird lately. Yeah. So uh, please keep uh, that in your prayers that we continue to use the video. Please continue. I'm sorry, this isn't scripted. Please continue to keep God's house in your prayers. For those of you who are wondering what's God's house, it's the YouTube channel and Facebook page. I use to share the word of God. Yeah. So, uh, um, please, uh, you know, just be there for one another. The world needs each other. And that's what, um, sometimes we can push people too far and we don't understand what they're going through and because they're pushing them so far and we don't, and we don't, and we don't want them to fail. But well, that's what happened in this episode. Uh, um, there are spoilers in this video, so I highly suggest you watch the episode first. You can watch it on Paramount Plus, or you can order. Uh, you might be able to order it on Amazon, like I did. Yeah. So. Um. Anyway, so. What happened is this uh, person was trying to make, was trying to uh, get somebody to redeem him because he messed up and uh, somebody got shot that shouldn't have got shot. And he, uh, uh, he became, uh, like, he, he, he became like a hero. Sorry, and I forgot to start the timer. Hold on. Uh, yeah, so a person that got shot, he was a cop. There were two cops. One got shot while the other one just froze. And to me, uh, you know, sometimes uh, they have something called fire flight where we freeze whenever uh, like something is going on. And like uh, in scary movies, you know how like, they, uh, do, like, they act like kind of weird. Or, like, they just stare at something whenever something's, like, coming towards them or something like that. That's what that is. You know, y'all can do more research on that if y'all want to. I'm just scratching the bare surface of it. Yes. Um, and the cop that I got shot died, and the other one took, uh... Uh, you know, became a hero, even though he was the one that froze. And if he wouldn't, and if the other cop wouldn't have stopped, wouldn't intervene, then he would have been dead. So, uh, if he, please, uh, remember that, you know, sometimes it is okay to slow down and think about things, especially in a crisis situation, because one wrong move can mean life or death. That's what can be life or death, one wrong move. Anyway, he takes the, the cop that didn't get shot, takes the credit for shooting the guy whenever he didn't do it. Yeah, he became it's like a town hero. Yeah, and uh, he, uh, he has a son, and he, he, uh, he was hoping that his son could redeem him for his eyes. And he was pushing his son hard. Like, for example, if he said in this, in this episode, he said that if he was on the team, he didn't want him to be just a player. He wanted him to be, like, the team captain or coach or whatever. That might, that's not exactly what he said, but that's 
summarizing it. We send high ton trophies. I'm talking about the sun now. We send high ton trophies. And he, uh, he cheated on a test and he got caught. And he, um, he that his dad would be uh, very disappointed in him. So he decided to try to kill himself. But the team failed. And the father learned, you know, he was pushing him too hard. And he also learned uh, not to, that there are no such things as the secrets. And what do I mean by that? I, I don't mean, uh, sorry, I don't think it's wrong already. I don't mean something like, um, uh, hey, hey, when you tell somebody, whenever you have a secret, God knows it too. It's not just you, it's God too who knows it. And the more and more we try to hide it, the more and more we lie about it, the more and more sin we create. So that's why no, I have to feel myself a little bit, but that's why um it's okay to admit that we did wrong. Sometimes. You know, depending on the situation and maybe like maybe it's not the right day or maybe the person's already going through a lot and you don't want to burden them anymore. And asking for forgiveness about what you did. Sometimes that's all we can do is pray to God and ask him for forgiveness. I drink root beer. It's no big deal drinking root beer. Well, yes, it is because it damages my body. And the Bible says to keep our body as something that's holy and sacred. Look it up. Look it up. Yeah, I people to look it up because I could be lying to y'all. I could be misinterpreting scripture. I could be doing all of these negative things. Yes, no, Maybe a bit more to it. Maybe God's calling you to study it. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I- uh, for example, I don't remember exactly where it's at, but maybe I saw and you to find where it's at. Mm-hmm. There are some things I would like y'all to pray for. I like y'all to pray for my mother. She's been having dizzy spells, and hopefully by the time this comes out, we know it's causing it, and uh, she doesn't lose her job. Yeah, one, of my, one of my sisters is pregnant. And she already has the baby by the, by the time this comes out. If not, um, yeah, I hope that. Um, yeah, yeah, let's see. So, so sometimes we push each other too hard because of our own mistakes. Because we don't want people to be like us who are pushing them so hard to where they don't know what it's like to be them. Yeah, okay. It is good just to chill out and play a video game like I do. Or uh, just to chill out and watch a good Christian movie. You know, you don't have to study all the time. That's what a lot of parents get wrong. You don't need to study all the time. You need to let kids be kids. Sometimes. Yeah, let them go to parties sometimes, as long as it's not alcoholic. Yeah, or marijuana or something like that. Yeah. Um, just let them hang out with each other. Yeah. Try not to force you, but try not to, uh, to force them to uh, do things that they don't want to do. Yes, That's very serious that they need to do, like, or maybe something like chores. And you know, some of us don't like to do chores, but it has to get done. Yeah, I the, the whole school and stuff, yeah, you want them to make A's if you're a parent, I guess. 
but you also uh, want them to enjoy the time that they have on this earth. Because we're not guaranteed in the next second, the next minute, the next hour. We're not. There's a Star Trek saying that I believe that applies here. Make now the most important moment of your life because now it will never come again. And yeah, that's what we need to do. But we also need to not just apply that to hard work, but apply that to being fun. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, maybe do some like arts and crafts. Or maybe, um, do something like, like I, uh, uh, how should I explain this? Do something like I'll inspire others just to have fun. Like, uh, for example, whenever, um, uh, I went impatient because I've had an attempt to hurt myself and talk to hurt myself. But one time we, uh, yeah, we just we just we had hula hoop, we had chalk, and we had um, what do they call it? like you put the thing in there, then you can blow bubbles. Yeah, we had that, and it was a uh, channel our inner child. And to me, that it was one of the most fun days I had. And it really wasn't bad either. If y'all are having bad thoughts about hurting yourself or somebody else, call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline if you live in the U.S. If not, there are probably programs in your country that will help y'all. And also, you can be contacting a therapist. Or or maybe both. Now, I'd also like to say, um, yeah, yeah. depending on upgrading my computer in a few months, I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to go with the, um, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with the Max or the Pro. Yeah. The Pro is going to take a few more months just to build up the funds. Yeah. And uh, for those of you who know me or don't know me, you could be like, how does he make money? Well, A, it's not through YouTube because I've actually lost money because I pay because the camera and the computer and the earbuds, yeah, uh, I paid for that. But most of my money goes towards the bills. That's why it takes forever for me to upgrade equipment. Plus, some of this equipment is very expensive. Yeah, and, and, uh, and, like, why don't you just do the side where hey, my internet's horrible and be I can get the quality I want from it? And live videos before, it's just a while and it was horrible. Okay, yeah. I mean, things like how it looks and how long it takes to load. Yeah. Why don't you do TikTok? Well, hey, I tried TikTok and I just couldn't get into it. Okay. TikTok in China right now, I don't want to mess with that. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, ByteDance, which owns TikTok, is a Chinese company, and if China wants information, like let's say it was a user, they couldn't, uh, the company has to give them that information, whereas in the U.S., they I can go to court to protect it. But in China, they have to give them that information. There is no way around it. They have to do it if they want to work in China. If they want to function in China. They have to do it. Yeah. China is the world's second, second biggest economy. 
So you know, it's kind of hard to tell them now. But hopefully, um, China doesn't get the information, and hopefully, they develop the legal process for getting the information. And hopefully, it's legit, not uh, they're just saying it and then and lying about it. God loves you. He does. He doesn't care if you're Chinese, Japanese, Mexican, American, uh, Indian, whether you be uh, from uh, an Indian tribe in the U.S. or if you be from India, you know, the country. And he doesn't you Korean or not, or North Korean or South Korean. He loves you. He does. And he doesn't, he knows that you've committed sin. We all have. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the Lord God, all of us. That includes me, people. That includes you. The only person that didn't sin was God, and you could argue that he wasn't really a person. Uh, uh, Those of you who, needs, who want to study up on something, I urge you to study the Trinity because uh, it has to do with God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, or Holy Ghost, all being one person, all are one being. No, they're like three parts of one being. That being is God. Being is God. And, uh, um, hopefully these videos get out on time. If not, oh well. I'm just uploading them as I can. Plus, you know, I want to use my computer for different things too. Not just for, uh, doing videos, but I, I have to go on YouTube and watch, like, uh, let me give you an example. I watch a documentary, or documentaries on both the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2. I like to watch documentaries. You know, I like to learn stuff. But if my computer's uploading a video, I really can't do much. Because that video takes up a good chunk of the, uh, of the uh, Wi Fi uh, signal or whatever. Wi Fi, uh, what's it called? Yeah, it's you turn on Wi Fi uh, signal. Bandwidth, Wi Fi bandwidth, that's what I'm looking for. Takes up a good chunk of that. And whenever that happens, it also gets other people off the internet, and it's a whole other thing. Yeah, so, um,. Yeah, and um, me, for instance, which I need to pray for is that I'm able to reach more people by using these videos. Which, and uh, I follow the, the word of God, and I continue to spread the gospel and my health. Because, you know, I have Tourette syndrome, which means I have uncontrolled muscle movements. And I have floaters, plus, you know, glasses right here. Uh, yeah. And, uh, if y'all want to uh, study anything, there's a book I recommend. It's called The King James Only uh, Conspiracy. Uh -huh. You don't know what that is. King James, King James is a Bible, is a um, kind of Bible that you can get. And some people believe that that is the most, uh, one that they have. Let me be honest with you, it's not. There are some verses in there that, that aren't in other Bibles, and there are some verses from other Bibles that aren't in there. But uh, if you like King James, look, I'm not holding anything against you.
which is not perfect. Oh, try to make it perfect was made by men. It might be inspired by God, but it's made by men. Let me see a uh, battery life. Yeah. And please keep this in your purse. I haven't like hacked before. And I like to pay, I like to say, I like to tell y'all to pay for the hackers. They might find it easier, that they might find a job if they haven't already at Microsoft or at Sony. You know, doing, uh, they, they could still be doing hacking, but they could be getting paid for it and they, and they, uh, you know, don't have to spread, uh, people's information around. Please uh, keep our president in your prayers. Please keep North Korea and China and Russia and Ukraine in your prayers. Because right now, you know, as of the day of this recording, Ch- China has a plan to uh, end the conflict, but that, that's going to happen. And also, there are worries that China might provide. Uh, Russia with uh things like missiles and gunpowder and stuff like that and guns. And your prayers. And listen, if y'all have a prayer request, please put it in the comments. And if it's personal, I have my phone number in the description. Please text me. Don't call me. And also, you can t- contact me uh, on Facebook, whether that be in the comment section or in a personal message. My name is Howard Elvermeyer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's not really much to talk about. Um, it's just, it was very, very shocking, very heartbreaking whenever they had uh, a suicide attempt. Very shocking. Heartbreaking. Okay. Yes, I'm going off in here. Yeah, so what's your favorite touch my angel uh episode so far? Um I used to call these Let's Watch, but I don't really watch these plus that might be breaking the law. So but that has to be as we care. Um well they might cause they uh have it on uh Paramount Plus. The touch my angel on Paramount Plus. Also, I didn't mention this, but for five dollars a month, you can get Paramount Plus with ads, and you can watch shows like documentaries sometimes. Or I'm not thinking of Disney. I think I'm thinking about Paramount Plus. But they have documentaries. They have um uh, TV shows like or they are uh. Touch my angel, which is the only one I would recommend. Yeah, honestly, the, the, one of the other reasons why I have a uh, camera plus is because of Star Trek. Because I'm a uh, I'm a Star Trek fan, which I know you know might be sinful, might not be. You know, it all depends on like, who's writing the episode and what's the lesson about. It's in, uh, what is it? In, uh, let's see. Okay. But, um, 
Back. Five or six, I want to say. Where there's like maybe guys out there, maybe he's in here. And he points to there and points to them. So maybe God is in this. There's some things that I don't know for sure. There's some things that I'm wrong about. There's some things that my belief teaches and uh, society teaches something else. And maybe my beliefs are wrong. Well, I know that people are going to get mad, but trans people. I don't believe that some person should be trans. I don't believe that there's a birth defect or something like that that causes that. What I believe is that if a person is born female, then they're meant to say female. If a person is born male, then they're meant to say male. That's what I believe. I could be wrong, but that's what I believe. Okay, if you have any uh, Bible verses that contradict that, please let me know in the comment section. I mean, I appreciate anything. And as long as it doesn't have any vulgar language or I talk about any adult things, I'll approve it. Because these comments are censored. And uh, they can't be a fad because, uh, you know, uh, I want little kids to be able to watch this too sometimes. I know that this episode was a little extreme for a lot of people. Yeah, I that the ending is worth it. In the end, the, father, the, the son uh, realizes that, you know, he can't work things out with his father. And the father realizes that he's pushing his son too hard. And the, and, uh, the cop's like, I think that God, uh, I think that the reason why I'm still living is because you need me. And the son uh, writes on a piece of paper because he can't talk anymore. I do. And to me, that's just a weird tearjerker. Because his son can't talk no more. I hope he may revisit uh, them in the future. Okay. Also, if y'all have any other Christian uh, TV shows I can watch on CD, and it has to be on CD and not Blu-ray, then uh, let me know. And uh, it... Uh, also, um, it can't be online only just because of the fact that I like to watch stuff while videos are being uploaded and I can't really do that while uh, I'm also watching something online. And there might be a whole bunch of lag or loading or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And for those of you who are new, we do, uh, if y'all can see on the screen, it says Biblical Podcast. What that is, is we just talk about our, verse, our verses in the Bible. And, uh, today, um, we're talking about Genesis 3.19. And, uh, in the middle, uh, it says, let's talk about Touch My Angel. Uh, yeah, like I said, I used to call these Let's Watches, but that was sort of misleading. So I changed that to, to Let's Talk About. And tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to be doing Star Trek Fleet Command Part 41. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's a real-time strategy game. And man, it didn't take long to do in that game. I mean, it takes forever. It takes forever, but they do give you a bunch of, uh, of time speed ups. I, uh, I, and you do get loot boxes, which new boxes, that might be considered, uh, sin, because, uh, that has to do with, like, random choice, and random choice has to do with gambling, and, uh, yeah. But, uh, 
So I just had to read something. Yeah. If you are who uh, want to know more about God's house, you can contact me. And let me tell y'all a story that this is coming true right now, I believe. So uh, I had a dream a long time ago where God told me he wanted me to be a pastor. And he said I should be ordained by my church. Well, as the years went on, that memory began to fade away. And I said, I would not tell me who wanted me to be. And if it's a pastor, how should I be in? And a friend of mine told me that I told him that he wanted me to be a pastor and that I should be ordained by my church. Which that's what God's house is, my church. I don't believe that a church is just a building. I believe that a church is a community of people that are willing to study the Bible together. And sometimes if they can't worship God, now I understand that, you know, we can't really do that on YouTube because it's a copyright. But yeah. And please pray for my sister Linda. Uh, she um she was talking about starting up doing videos again, but she's gonna have a baby, so that'll probably uh, probably won't happen. Plus, she has an old computer that she really needs to update, and it's slow. So yeah, there's another reason why it probably won't happen anytime soon, if at all. Uh, the baby's name, I think it's Lindsay. I think it's Lindsay. Uh, I think it's Lindsay. 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 Lindsay or Lydia, I don't know. Lindsay or Lydia, I don't know. And for those of you who are wondering where you can, uh, where I live, I live, uh, Eastern near Pine Prairie, Louisiana. If you ever want to call, if you ever want to chat with me, just text me. Hey, I want to chat with you, then I'll, uh, call you. <laughs> if you want that, or if you want to, you can just chat with me through texting or do chat on Facebook or whatever. And if, I, if I don't respond to uh, to a video on the next side, that's because I, I only want Facebook and uh, YouTube. Those are two sites I'm on. If just hit share on the other side, well, praise God. But I might not respond to a comment. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah, I'm trying out like different like I think to like share my videos. I don't want to be like scammed though. I'm trying out like maybe messaging certain people that normally watch my videos. Hey, I have a new video that's coming out. Would you please watch it or something like that? No, I'm trying out different things. And I don't want it to be spam, but I want to reach as many people as I can. The God causes us to be creative with our technology. Like I said, I, I do a video game. A lot of people don't do video games. Or some do. Christians who also play video games, be very, very careful about what you play and about who you playing with. Because some people, they can cuss, they can do all of these negative things. They can say, uh, OMG. Yeah, God's name is vain. They can say things like, uh, WTF. 
Mm-hmm. But listen, God loves you. He knows that we have disabilities. He knows that we can't always make it to church. He knows that they have bad weather. He knows that um, it can be dangerous just going to church because uh, you know, we might know people over there that we uh, might have got argument with or something like that. It, to me, there are some situations where it's okay to watch it online. Because I would much rather somebody watch it online than not go at all. For example, if you cripple, there are some churches that can accommodate for that, and there are some churches that can't or choose not to. So I don't want anybody to feel like they're neglected. But some churches simply don't have the money for like ramps and stuff. Some churches are small. Mm-hmm. You know what? We praise and worship in God. That's the number one thing. And listen, I would like to say a miracle that has happened to me. Okay, so my mother, father, my little brother, all lived with me, all had COVID, and I didn't have it. Praise God, I didn't have it. Amen. Amen. And these videos are being done a little bit later than what I normally do them. Just because I've been just taking time away from my computer and doing other things. Yeah. I don't want to become addicted to my computer. Or if I am addicted, some people might say I'm already addicted. I want to stay, uh, you know, I want to uh, get on it less and less. We have about 25 more minutes left. My time is long off. Um, how do we as Christians go around with, and do, uh, just have fun? Whether that be at the movies or, uh, Playing a video game. Because I know that playing a video game, listen, they have a ton of like trivia games and they have some kid games, but they don't have games made for adults. And if you do know of a game made for adults that's not a trivia game, please let me know because I would like to play it. Because I've tried different games and, well, it didn't work out too well. And the games have to be available either, um, well, sometimes, uh, sometimes I have a Mac Mini in one, and sometimes iPhone games can work good on there, sometimes it can't, so that's a big iffy. But I also have an Android phone, and, um, you know, that would probably be the easiest way for me to play the game and to make sure that there are no complications. And, uh, I also would like to play with others, but, you know, I don't know that's a big iffy. I say iffy because, uh, you know, that might not be, you know, the game might not be that popular. It's hard for me to play with somebody else. But sports games, for the most part, are okay. So I might give me a... Um, another thing about it, I might give me a sports game on my phone or my computer. I don't have a gaming console anymore. I used to buy it. Um,
please, if you can, please, um, pray for God's house that we're able to, no matter what, continue to reach people and continue to honor and serve God. Please pray for that. Please pray for that. Um, please pray for our workers, because right now some of them are worried about their them losing their job. Some of them, uh, some people already have lost their job and they're looking for income. And trying their best to uh do to follow this. Ask not what your government can do for you, ask what you can do for your government. Some of us some of them are working very, very hard to find a job to support their family and their government. But also some of us are lazy to the point where we don't want to work because what's the point? We get money anyway. Everybody that's on a disability or is on uh, SSI or whatever other program that they might be on is lazy. I'm not saying that, but some of them are lazy. I recently heard of a... uh, a uh, government program well, it's not really a government program. I guess it's more like a law that says that uh, disabled people can work and it doesn't have to be minimum wage. Listen, as long as they work and then they make the money, I don't care if it's minimum wage or not, then uh, that's good. Please pray for that. To work, but they can't. Are all for them working, even if it's below minimum wage. And for those of you who don't know what minimum wage is, because you might live in a different country, minimum wage is what legally what they have to pay you uh, nationwide. Countries are. Uh, like, uh, let's say, like, I work at Walmart, or I work at McDonald's, or I work at Subway. We all get paid the same thing. All of us aren't paying anyway. Now, sometimes they can go above the minimum wage, but they can't go below it. And that's the law says that they can, which there was a law, I think, in uh, California that allowed, uh, or it might be in Florida, or it might be somewhere else. I don't know. I need to do more research on that. I'm so sorry for bringing that up with no research, or barely any. But yeah, I'm all for people working below minimum wage if they have to. Yeah, sometimes some of us, some uh, small businesses can't afford minimum wage. Or sometimes, um, People just need some people to do some simple stuff, and that's it. I know at Walmart, um, one of the jobs is to go around and collect and get uh, shopping carts. The store. Praise God and thank Him for everything that He's done for me. Listen, me even being alive is a miracle because I almost overdosed. I was having bad thoughts. I wasn't processing them well, and my threats was acting up, and I just wanted it all to stop. So I uh, almost overdosed, but that walked in that last possible second and saved my life. He walked in at the last possible second and saved my life. And I like to praise him for that.
Well, I have to praise God, I guess. Because it wouldn't be for God that would have happened. Well, the ways of this world is wicked, is evil. The devil hates us. He wants us to suffer. He wants us to not know God. He wants us to have a bad relationship with God. Have bad relationships with God, or have a bad relationship with God. Be a single person. That's what he wants. But is he getting that? Sometimes, for me, sometimes, yeah, sure. Sometimes when I feel depressed, or I might feel angry, or I might say something I shouldn't say, or I might do something I shouldn't do. Hey, listen. If you have an illness and you can't make it to church, and all you can do is watch it online, don't be just do what you can. I have a uh, nephew who doesn't have a job, and they're, uh, What's your thing? This. they're slow. What's your thing? And, uh, he can't drive anything, but, yeah, he still has a relationship with God. And, you know, I'm very happy for him. And then I'm going to be right here. And then I'm going to be right here. Very happy. Very happy for you. And please pray for, uh, yeah, just need each other. Because we all need parents these days. We all need parents. We all need parents. And please pray for our church leaders. Because in this corrupt world where it's okay to uh, get same-sex marriage, where it's okay to get an abortion pill, where it's okay to uh, have sex with the same gender. Yeah, a bunch of us have to do things that we should that go against the Bible. And some preachers, for instance, have to uh, do weddings of the same-sex marriage. Which I believe that that's sinful. But that may not be the preacher's fault. But the rule is this that he could lose his license to preach. Well, God loves you. He does. He does. He loves you. And sometimes he's like, hey, you need to go to church. And sometimes he's like, hey, you need to watch it online. And, you know, if, uh, like, let's say you have a hurricane and you're worried about going outside, you know, it's okay to watch it online. Okay. And we can watch online, let's say, uh, we can only like, like read your Bible, then that's okay too. As long as, you spend, as long as you're taking the time out of your day and spend it with God. And by the way, with God, I don't just mean God being there physically.
I mean, like, you studying his word, or you listening to a Christian song, or you, uh, spreading the gospel with somebody else. You know, just that little bit of time. God does not, God gives us 24 hours a day, and He doesn't ask us for all 24 hours. He doesn't even ask us for 6 hours or 7. He asks us for what we can give Him. And some of us work all day and we can't give him much. And some of us are lazy and don't give him none at all because we're lazy. Well, God loves you. He does. He loves you. You're one of his creations. Don't you ever forget that. Don't you ever forget that. And the Bible says that man was made in the image of God. Well, it's my call. You ugly, they call it. They call it God ugly. Anything God likes that? And listen. And many times it can be, uh, easy to say, uh, uh like to defend yourself. But sometimes God's like, wait, take the time out of your day, let him cool down first, then you explain your side of the story. Or sometimes we want revenge and, uh, yeah, okay, nope, you're not gonna get your revenge, I, I'm gonna uh, do the revenge part for you. So be careful what you say, how you say it, and when you say it. Some people are like, you know, you should, you should have a like you want somebody to believe you, but you continue to tell them, tell them things, and as you continue to tell them, they start slowly ignoring you. Whereas telling them bits and pieces here and there, yeah, that might get their attention more than you just saying the same old thing over and over again. Because what's going to happen is they're going to ignore you. They're not going to take you seriously. And also, uh, here's another reason for them not to follow on you. Let's say I vape. And I tell somebody to stop smoking, but yeah, I vape. So, uh, you know, why would anybody... Be- why would anybody follow my advice? Why would they? Follow my advice. Why would they? Why would they? Why would they? Anything. Maybe this is perfect. But, yeah, I think that we're all trying to be perfect. And sometimes bad things can happen to good people. Sometimes it can. Bad things can happen. And if we continue to push ourselves and push ourselves too much in the wrong direction, and that's how we got intended, then what's going to happen? Bad things are going to happen. Our relationship with God is going to crumble, and we're going to uh, do things that we shouldn't be doing. And listen, I understand that, you know, sometimes our job forces us to do things that we shouldn't do. But the Bible says this is sin. But the Bible also says this, pick your bowels wisely. So what does that mean? That means that, like, let's say if you're a pastor and there's a gay couple and you can lose your license if you refuse to marry them, then it might be okay for you to marry them. Or let me give you uh, another example. But this is an example of sin. You sign up for something, then uh, it has like a, a big chunk, like a, a chapter level full of stuff. You scroll down and don't read it, and you say, so that I've read this. Yeah, some people might say that that's a sin. Honestly, I don't think so, because that stuff's mainly meant for lawyers, and no matter what, the law should protect you. Even if it goes against what you uh, agree to, the law should protect you.
if you live uh, in a uh, safe country. Yes, because you. I I understand that you know some uh some presidents are corrupt and some uh, officials are corrupt. And they can be bribed, things like that. Yes, thank you. So, is it perfect now? Oh, why? Because it's men's song, not God's song. Would you know what I mean? What's the difference in between men's song and God's song? Well, God's song comes from the Bible. Men's song comes from other men agreeing that something is okay or not okay. And sometimes men's law and God's law can conflict. Yeah, sometimes we just, let's go back to the basics. Sometimes we just push each other too far and we expect them to be perfect whenever they're not. They're not perfect. They're not. They're not. They're not perfect. I always remember this. A preacher said, for you have sinned and you have sinned and you have sinned and he pointed to me. And everybody was like, everybody was shocked. But I have sinned. And mm-hmm. Do I deserve to be living now? Would you deserve to die and go to hell? That's what I deserve. To die and go to hell. That's exactly what I deserve. Because the Bible says for the wages of sin is death. And what the, and it doesn't just mean you die. It means you die and go to hell. That's what the wages of sin means. Yeah, is that I have no. I live in a household. We're not rich, but we're also not poor. Uh, well, in some areas, you know, it all depends who you, who you compare us to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have uh, a, a, a webcam, I have a computer, I have a phone, I have a uh, USB uh, DVD drive, I got two TVs. Yeah, I like things that other people would only dream of. Why do you have two TVs? Well, one, uh, I like to have pictures on there of uh, the inside of it. Plus, I, um, uh, I like, uh, um, so like, when you know, I'm editing or uploading a video, I like to have one TV just for that. That way, I ain't gotta switch apps. I can just look like to my left right here. Um, if I'm recording, I, I used to do this a lot, but now I don't do it. I used to record from a uh, console, and uh, uh, a TV. And uh, I used to have one thing for my uh. Video game console, like one TV for that, and uh, another thing for our recording thing, just to make sure that everything was working right. That way, I could see both the console and the recording thing. No, I don't do that because right, of copywriting. Because well, I don't have that much money. Yeah, I can't play computer games. Maybe, uh, you know, I might play, uh. I might start playing, uh, what's it called? Oh, I could, I could play Sid Myers. I forgot about that. I could play Sid Myers in Civilization. I'm okay, yeah. start playing that instead of Star Trek for the command because that's A, that takes a while, B, uh. Yeah. You know, change things up a little bit. But maybe I've, 
I, I I'll think about it. I might even miss up and you be the first. And we've just crossed out our time line. So uh this is where I, I have to let y'all go. I don't have to, but I um uh, like to cut off at about an hour because of the fact that it takes a while to edit and upload to YouTube and an hour is on my death for me. And the uh, longest thing it takes, the longest thing is uploading. And the second to longest is capturing. By capturing, I mean recording. Hello, everybody. This has been the Major God's House production. And I would like to remind y'all that we do have a Patreon page. Now, for those of you who don't know what Patreon is, or if I haven't gone over it in a video, the Patreon is a monthly subscription service that you can use to donate money to your favorite organization, charity, church, whatever. Anyway, we start at $3 a month. Now, I understand that not, of us, not all of us can afford $3 a month, but that's what we start off at. Then it goes to $9 a month. That's even less of us can afford that. Then it's $25 a month. And the reason why I have $25 a month is because I like to have a more expensive option out there for those of us who have the income. Yeah, so uh, this is God's House's Facebook. If y'all want to follow us on there, y'all can do it. The link's in the description. This is our YouTube channel. This is where we mainly do most of our content. And the reason for that is because I go on YouTube a lot, so I naturally do a lot. Most of my content on YouTube. And uh, this is our Twitter page. Now, our Twitter page uh, is probably the one I use the least, but y'all can follow me on there and y'all can get up to date videos about uh, what I think is, is important. Like, uh, for example, I recently shared a video about uh, this recent, about a school shooting that took place in Texas and about gun laws. And I don't always necessarily support their beliefs, but I support their ideas of some people, if that makes any sense. Anyway, bye, guys.